Druid when I watched their game tape and their victory last week. They put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push off. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the... Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. Would you say that last week's performance by him, Workman like in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Lance going to put it up right away. That pass is caught by Hardy. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing now is Lance. His throw incomplete. Early test, two plays in. This is third and two. To throw, it's Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. That seems a little surprised to see him try to come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Lance going to throw. That's Samuel caught left side. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 26. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Foul. Roughing the defense. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gill. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. He'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his lance on third down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And he 
His kick is indeed good. And the 49ers take a 3 0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And able to get this out to the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by a man raised in Alabama, went to Florida State. It's their quarterback, Jameis Winston. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Second and six, just inside the 30. Winston. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And that is incomplete. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. It's taken to the 26. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. From the gun, it's Lance. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And they'll lose yardage here, knocked back to the 19-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because this face can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Here's Lance. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt and their mistake. Cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Out comes the Saints offensive unit and the NFC playoff race. Let's have a look at it. And with the final fortnight of games upon us, teams jockeying for position. Some of these games really starting to take enormous importance as they always do this time of year. I like how you use fortnight. Hey, you're impressed, aren't you? I am impressed. That Thank means you. two weeks, if that, I'm not mistaken, does. correct? That does. But how about exactly what you're talking about? Going down the stretch, how much importance is placed on these games? Look, everyone talking about every game's important. <laughs> when you get to this time of year, maybe that importance gets quadruple. And that's where we are right now to see who can make their last run, their last push to get into the playoffs. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Kamara. He's brought down at the 34, call it a gain of four. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Kamara, trying to run for it. 
And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The Saints at 8 and 7, a game over 500 on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Winston to give. It's Kamara. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. As they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. Kamara up the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Third and short yardage, Winston. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Here's Corliss Waitman now. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked down inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a pro spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. The Niners on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Man open. That's Ray Ray McLeod. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Had a nice move, but couldn't free much space. From the 17, Lance. He finds Hardy on the slant. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Good push up front, and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Play action. Now it's Lance. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. 
Shotgun now for Lance. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The New Orleans offense set to take over. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. It'll be a game of 10 to start to drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing Winston. There's Chris Olave. Winston on target to Olave for the Saints first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. On first and ten, Winston. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Got an open man. It's Alave. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 33. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him over 3,000 yards passing now in the campaign. And Brandon, nowadays, your leader's usually closer to 5,000 yards on the year, but still, 3,000 yards, a good season. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Jameis to throw it. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Winston. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to have it here at their own 15. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. We'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance over the middle. That's caught by McLeod. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Lance to throw on third and one. Escaping the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half.
On first down, Lance. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Working from the gun, Lance. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our East. And you all are check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Niners. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they did not have quite the same amount of success in the passing game that their counterparts did, as you get a look at the numbers there. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he's got Rome. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, for Alvin Kamara, that speed size combo, just about exactly what you want for a running back. And he uses that size, that strength to bust through a would be tackler there. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took off that initial contact and in his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. First down, Winston. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go play action. Winston. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 25-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Nick Needham on the tackle. No gain on the play. Brings up second. 
A tenth carry for Kamara. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Jason Sanger is on the field. Sanders' kick is good, and they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room with intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, and now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw, it's Lance. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. And not what you want to see this late in the season. The medical staff is going to check on him. And we'll step aside for a moment. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. And Lance going to throw. And he's got the hook up to McLeod. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Lance now on first down. It's hauled in by Hardy. Working with second and five now. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Lance. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. now to throw got an open man it's McLeod and he'll get this to the 30 yard line before crossing over out of bounds 
The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, he had success earlier in the drive, keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall over the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. On second and 11 now, Lance. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the gun on third down, Lance. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now nine to three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. Well, including this week, three weeks remain in the regular season, Charles, and it is going to be interesting to see how this playoff picture sorts itself out before we head into the postseason. Competitive, entertaining postseason, that's what we're always striving for. I think we get it during the regular season, too, because you never know how things are going to go during the final weeks of the season. Every team pulled out all the stops to get a better seed or just to get one of those seven seats at the table. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now Winston. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Third and short yardage, Winston. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. But now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is clear catch, 6-9-9. to the ground, it's Kamara. 
And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Winston now. Alave holds it in. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's four. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. They run. It's Kamara, and he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Jameis now on first down. Throwing out right here, caught by Alave. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to let the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Winston. That's complete to Troutman right side. Second and three from the nine. Now a handoff, here's Kamara. Calling no gain that time as it's gonna leave him with a third and about three to go. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in, and if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high because mentally you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Lance. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Standing just outside his own goal line. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Saints will have a short field in front of them. They take over here, first and 10. Winston to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The pass caught by Alave. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. 
First down now, but that clock rolling. For the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. Now Winston. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Quick hitter here is complete. 